Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today is in this Rhino 3D modeling tutorial, I would like to talk about this structure for twisting wire and how does it turn into the earring. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before we start in the tutorial, we want to take a look on the structure of this. Look like it is a sheet of the structure is being twisted. So as long as we can figure out this sheet and how this sheet structured and cutting into those little section and we are able to twist them into this form. So that's starting from the scratch. I was using more of the teardrop that I use for my sample and I would like to change to square if possible. So that's starting with the center snapping into the zero and depends on how big you want your earring to be. So let's say roughly about this 40 millimeter. Okay. After that, I would like to turn them into the surface by using the surface from planar curves. And then we want to rotate this into 45 degrees. So it's more graceful in this way. Okay, so now we have this, we need to cut them into the section that we want. So let's go ahead to use the command. It's living under the curve. You have curve from the object and you have the ones called contour, right? So we want to contour follow this surface and we need to give a direction. So which direction you then want to follow. So let's click on the surface, hit enter. And we want to snapping into the bottom here to the top here. So this is showing where the direction is going to go. And each of these section like depends on how you like them to be. I will like them to be one millimeter and I will be starting from this point all the way to the top for one millimeter. Okay. So you can see the distance in between each of the curve is one millimeter. This might be a little bit too big for a year, but who knows, maybe people like it. All right, so then we wanted to split this one, this surface with all the curve we just created. So we want to use a split command and we're going to choose everybody beside the outline right there. I'm just going to deselect the outline. All right, so then hit enter. Then you can see that this is being separated into little section right there. All right, so now let's take a look on our perspective. Then we have everything like this. I'm going to pick up using a selection tool. I'm going to pick up all the curve that we just created and just hide it there. So now we are dealing with the individual surface right there. With all the surface, we need to turn them into the solid. So let's go ahead to using the command under the solid, you have extruded surface and we want them to be straight. All right, so I basically want to get like one millimeter wire. So I'm going to both sides equal yes. The extrusion distance is five and solid equal yes right there. And let's hit enter. So then we'll get something like this. All right, so now we have this. Um, you can go ahead and fit it if you want to. Let's go ahead to fit it to make it look nicer. So we wanted to fit it something really small, maybe just point two here. And we want to fit it. Everybody go there. And as this is more edges to fit it. So it might take a while. I should not make so many for this demo, but since we already make it, let's go for it. Okay. So once you have it, if you take a look on your render view, you're going to see they are really nicely to having all the edges around it. All right. So now we need to twist this guy. Let's go ahead to coming into the top view and I do want to call back my line so I know where the center is exactly is. So let's go ahead to pick up uh, everybody the curve first and I wanted to deselect this guy right here and I'm just going to hide it. I'm also going to hide it the surface right there and hide it. I just want to call back this line here. In fact, I'm going to change the line into the red color so you know which one I'm talking about. So let's turn this into the ghost view. All right. So the way to twist it is we are going to pick up everybody beside our line right there. So I'm going to come here to deselect the line and I wanted to snap in um, using the twist command and I wanted to snap in the axis to that point right there. So I'm going to snap in this end point right there coming to the bottom. We want to snapping into this endpoint right there as well. 
All right, now come back to the top. I want to rotate it 360 degrees. So actually, you have to move your mouse all the way around, and then you will get something like this. Let's take a look like this. All right, cool. Well, in fact, the square look nice as well. All right, so in the jewelry making sense, those are not actually 100% connected for casting. Just want to make sure they are all connected. I'm going to draw a line starting from here to end of the point right there. And with this line right here, we simply just going to pipe it. All right. The diameter we have for the square is one. So this one, I just want them to be 20 gauge. So let's try for the pipe and diameter for 0.8 millimeter and let's hit enter. So you got something right in the middle to connect it each other. Now you can hook another like pearl or any of the stone down there. You wanted to have an earring on the top right here. So let's go ahead to make earring. First of all, we'll need to have a jump ring right here. So that's snapping right here for whatever size of a jump ring that you want. Ideally, I like my jump ring a little bit thick. So that way I can make sure that the casting will come out. We need to have duplicate another one here and rotate this one for 90 degrees. So let's go ahead to use the combo holding the shift key. So then we have another one there. So this will be dangling. Now I have explained in my other video about how to make in the French wire earring and what is the proper way to make it. I will put it on the right top corner to show you where that video is. If you're interested to understand how to make a proper earring, you can check on that. So this one, I wanted to have a 20 gauge as well. So we want to go to using the pipe and we want to pipe it for 18, uh, 20 gauge and something wrong here. It's not working. Let's take a look on this wire and of course it's snapping crazy there so let's go ahead to use the, at the front view uh, we want to project to C plane and hit yes to bring it back to here uh, for some reason it was snapping crazy there so let's go ahead to pipe it again and we want to do 0.8 millimeter and it will get something like this all right so this two it's going to be bowling union together and then we'll have this beautiful earring right here. So if you are interested to learn more about Rhino, I have a lot of tricks and tips in my membership program. Sign up for the membership. A small amount of money is helping me as an individual YouTube creator to create more free video for everyone. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.